Okay, well, a new Polyphia song. That is great. We always, you know, we always love guitar playing here and definitely Polyphia. We had Tim here on my Twitch channel a number of times. And recently, you just saw Tim and Scotty from Polyphia playing on stage with us on the Dragon Force tour. That was super fun. That was in Dallas, Texas in the hometown. And that was a blast. You know, if you guys didn't see it, hope to um, maybe put a video out there on our social media. So you can check it out. It was super cool to see Tim and Scotty. But let's check out Playing Games. God by Polyphia, which is actually trending at number seven on YouTube. Now, look at that. Look at that. If you don't think guitar instrumental music is cool, well, I'll tell you, man, this is cool. That is huge. That is massive. I don't remember a instrumental guitar music trending on YouTube at number seven. Look at this shit. This is unreal. This is fucking amazing. Let's check it out. And I can see here, they also got some tour dates lined up. Starting in September around the tour. Some tours happening in September. You know, these YouTube dates are not always accurate. That means they don't have all the dates that they're touring. Only the stuff that is linked to Ticketmaster and other affiliate um, ticket, ticket places that sell tickets. So make sure you go to Polyphia's website and check out the complete tour dates of what's happening. Okay, go check it out. They have, I think they're working on a new album right now. So let's check it out. Come on. Okay, I think, I mean, this is like Polyphia songs are hard to play on electric guitar, which means the action is low, it's easier to play, everything is low, action set up. I think they're, they're turning up another notch now, going on nylon strings guitar. And I have nylon string guitars. I played a lot of nylon string guitars at the beginning when I was learning how to play the guitar. I used to bring my nylon string guitar to school and I would sit there and play at lunchtime when there's a break. And because it's a much bigger challenge than playing your electric guitar. And doing the nylon strings thing is like, this is like pushing it. They're pushing the boundaries to show you, you know, how much further they can go and they're not going to stop. This is what's going on. I mean, the technique there is going so fast, literally. There's so many techniques, the harmonics, the chords, the high, the low, the natural harmonics, the strum, the timing. In terms of songwriting, they're setting up something for you to show you. Like, you know what? I'm going to grab you here. You're going to sit here and listen to this song because we mean business. I mean, the moment you hear that, it's like, Damn, okay, I'm gonna sit around and listen to this thing. I'm not gonna turn it off. It's like, oh, this is the same stuff. This is not the same stuff. Woo, okay. You guys feel the same when you first heard that? It's like, wow, it just grabs you. It's like, ah, oh, wow, what's happening? What is this guy up to? Out of their minds. Okay. Okay, wow. So I think if you look at this right now, it's actually, now I think about it even further, it's even more difficult. The strings, the action, the dynamics. I mean, you gotta compress this with a compressor really hard on that tone to make the evenness. And even if you put that much compression, sometimes it kind of kill the tone a little bit. So they have to play this really well dynamically to play. And you can hear it, you know, just the beginning when Scotty was doing his solo, he's going, they're not, they can't compress it that much. Then you kill the dynamic of the song. So there's still a lot of dynamic in it when i mean dynamics is like the level the things going up and down in terms of level it gets louder it gets a bit quieter it changes they're showing it there so you know you can't just compress the hell out of it because they have dynamics in the song so you gotta play this well i can't wait to see people try to cover this song or probably no one's gonna do it they're gonna try but you're gonna spend like 12 hours on one riff just at the beginning um ooh, let's, <laughs> let's let's carry on listening to this thing
Oh, I don't know what to tell you on this one. This is actually, I'm kind of blown away on this. <laughs> the mo uh, this is the second time for me to hear it. The more you hear it, the better it is. Actually, there's a lot of um, notes to remember and a lot of timing to um, to think about concern and to play it naturally. We we'll while still counting and playing the notes, you need a lot of brain power. That is crazy. And you can see there's a play of the harmonies between Scott and Tim to create that sound. It sounds like there's like four guitar players, the way they make the harmonies and the way they like using the finger picking and the picks at the same time. Ooh, I know you guys, you, all, you guys are all a little bit speechless now thinking, well, how am I gonna play like this? Is anyone gonna cover this song? Hands up, who's gonna cover it? Anyone, anyone covered it on YouTube already? I don't think so. Maybe next year that someone will put a cover up. Okay, I think to understand the song and understand the music, we have to look at the influences that the players, the musicians have in the band. And how come Polyphia has such an original sound? It's because they don't just listen to one style of music. They listen to hip hop, different kind of pop music, you know, popular music, all the way to like metal. You know, they've grown up in a different, in an era where, you know, it's got, you got easily, you got easy access to all style of music easy. It's a press of a button. And I think that's something that contribute to um, how these new players are so great. The internet era, you can press a button and you get access to different kind of music you want to hear right now. That's something I didn't have when I was learning how to play the guitar. You know, you have to wait or you have to find someone or go buy, you know, this kind of music, you have to physically go out then get it and then put it on now there's so much information out there on learning how to play the guitar in different ways from all different style and you can just stream something on there and watch something of someone how how someone performs something so this makes well let's say it makes it not easier but if you have the mind to want to create you can you can go out there and absorb that and make it into something and the way they you know they as guitar players they're not just like trying to like you know copy the music they like to hear they're able to kind of combine all the little influences together so it's important to um even if you don't like what tim listens to it's important to rec recognize what he's listening to and why he's creating this this kind of music and how it come around to make it happen this way same thing with um with Scotty, it's a it's a very interesting combination. There's definitely no boomer bands in there. They barely, they don't, you know, they barely bands. Well, I don't, I don't think there's a single band in that playing on that song. But you know what? They're playing a, playing a nylon guitar, so the bands don't usually work that well compared to electric guitar. You know, the heartbreaking bands are needed. They're creating different kind of slides and taps and harmonics and rhythm. Change it on that, changing the style and approach on it. And guess what? You know. They can bend if they want to. They just choose not to, to kind of like put themselves in a style that you haven't heard. They're spending more time on something else. Yeah, this is a one hell of a song. And I know I was messing around with you guys about no one can cover it. Of course, there are people that can cover these songs. Some people are really good at covering songs. They can listen to something and copy it and play it back. But really, the creation is the main thing, man. Be able to create that piece of music is much more difficult than copying and covering a song. Even if you're gonna put your own spin onto a cover. Hey, that's why sometimes band cover songs, you know, it is actually easier than writing a song doing a cover. Yeah. This is not your typical type of music. You're here. What? Trending at number seven on YouTube. And you can think about, you like it or not, man, the next generation, the future of the guitar is here. 
there's a new style in town. It's been here for a while. Accept it or not, you know what? It's here. This is it. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the track? What's your thing about it? What's your favorite thing about it? What What's your favorite thing? Let me know. I want to know. What makes you take on this song? Is it difficulty level, the tone, the creativity, or just forget about techniques? We don't care. Why analyze techniques when we can just listen to music and let, let yourself be taken away from the music? It's more important than all the techniques. Techniques, guitar players love techniques. They love to talk about techniques, but really at the end of the day, we learn it just to create a sound. That's why we learn the techniques because we want to make this sound. Don't let the technique control your music, you're learning it to control your music as a tool to create. But I think this is so cool that guitar instrumental music, which we thought was dead after the shred era, you know, the shrapnel records shred era was done. You know, Steve I Satriani, obviously they're able to keep it going, but you know, that scene was gone. And there's something here right now that is fresh and creative that we have never heard before being created. This is really cool for someone who loves guitar music like me. You know, I still listen to so much music, so much guitar music. I'm always learning. So hearing this just makes me smile and go, you know what? Guitar never went away and it's not going away at all. Good job. Great job to um the guys in Polyphia. Awesome. Sounds great, huh? <laughs> it, it's just one hell of a trip, you know, to be able to think this way, to create music this way and think, well, actually, you don't think if people like it or not. Who cares if they like it or not? When you create music, you do it for yourself. You want to hear it, you like it, you make it. And of course, you can see the whole aesthetic of the, the vibe that Polyphia is putting together is different too. They have their own thing, their own image, the way they want to show their music visually and also, you know, how they approach it, you know, so you can hear it. Ooh, all right. You know, should I look at that cover? You guys talk about? You guys talk about the cover. I want to, you know what? I want to see the cover. Tell me something about this person who did the cover straight away. I mean, obviously, that guy must be, must be, you know, obsessed about to pull it up already. Okay. Sorry. I'm sure he's very good at this, but I'm... I can't hear the guitar. I only, you know, he's playing on top of the track. So he's playing on top. So no, it's not a cover yet. You're telling me that someone's covered it? No, they haven't done it yet. I think it's very relaxing. Very relaxing music.